And I will now introduce the next speaker, Oliver Thomas Harrison, from the Abu Dhabi Health Authority. Thank you. Thank you. My Lord, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Um, it's a real privilege to be speaking to you today. And in my eight minutes, which I'll try to adhere to, I'm going to try to speak to two separate constituencies. So one is UK life sciences and health care. Um, and to sell you the rest of the world as a place to go innovate. Uh, but the second, I think, is to, to say why, from Abu Dhabi's perspective, the UK, uh, with uh, its unique combination of skills, I think represents a, a very attractive partner for innovation. So um, what I'll be talking about is um, non-communicable disease, NCDs, and um, I don't need to introduce them to, to the audience. Um, what we've been able to do in Abu Dhabi in the past five years is to create a very comprehensive program to tackle non-communicable disease called Wakaya, which is Arabic for protection or prevention. Um, and I shan't have time today to go into a Wakaya in depth, but for those of you that read scientific papers, there are several that have been published already and several that are just about to be published. Um, and then I'll talk very briefly about uh, an MOU that we've been discussing between Abu Dhabi Municipality um, and Birmingham City Council, through which elements of Wakaya um, uh, will be piloted um, in the Midlands and uh, within the UK. And then I'll just finally talk about uh, why the UK is such a great partner for us as we think about how to take our programme forward. So firstly, um, for those of you who are not familiar with Abu Dhabi, um, it's a place which is a very exciting one for looking at health innovation. Um, it's big enough to matter, um, but small enough to manage, as we say. 2.4 million population, around 18,000 clinicians, and just over 1,000 facilities. So it's a system which you can generate statistical power within, but which is also relatively amenable, certainly compared with the NHS in the UK, the systems in India and China. Um, the government in Abu Dhabi um, is highly strategically minded. It can take a 20 to 30 year time frame and, and frequently does. Um, and it also has broad based popular trust. Um, uh, the UK government may be a little envious of that on occasion. Um, the extreme pace and depth of development in that region is truly historic. It's very difficult to, uh, uh, to think of another people who have been exposed to quite that scale of socioeconomic change over 40 or 50 years since the discovery of petrochemical wealth. Um, and the system um, has sufficient complexity uh, with a multiple payer side, multiple provider side to be broadly applicable as we look to other um, health markets. And of course, the system is relatively well resourced. The problems that uh, Abu Dhabi fo um, uh, faces um, uh, center around NCDs. And uh, diabetes is really the only show in town apart from all of the others. Um, five of the top ten countries for diabetes prevalence are in the Gulf for reasons that we don't fully understand. Um, and last year's United Nations meeting looking at NCDs I think was one of many uh, um, meetings, uh, uh, declarations, decrees that really have been talking around the problem of what are we going to do? What do ministers of health do? What do directors of strategy do if they want to tackle diabetes? What do I do today? What do I do by day 30? And really, Wakaya is an answer to that. Um, and of course, this is in the context of a global um, health system which is uh, uh, increasingly challenged. Cost has been outstripping GDP by 2% uh, for more than 50 years. Um, and really, for the first time in many generations, we're seeing a generational fall in life expectancy in countries such as the United States within certain areas. And of course, Julio Frank's paper from Harvard with the World Economic Forum uh, last year estimates the total cost of non-communicable diseases to the global economy at $47 trillion over the next 20 years. Now, flattening the curve or even turning that back creates value, which then can be captured in multiple ways. So what have we been able to do in Abu Dhabi? Well, in this idealized market, we've done two things which I think are distinctive. The first is around e-health. And we have wired the entire health system for sound. Every clinical encounter in pharmacy, primary, secondary care, tertiary care, government, non-government, for citizens, expatriates, tourists even, uh, any touch point with the health system creates a 63 data point um, uh, uh, e-claim uh, to a health insurer. And that data contains a lot of clinical information around diagnosis, um, the drugs and, di and, uh, and doses, um, any clinical activity, uh, and also the outcomes. So this is a very rich database which flows through a single 
um, uh, node, which we call Shafafia, which is Arabic for transparency, um, and a copy of each of those transactions uh, for, uh, comes to the health authority as a regulator at uh, real time to a data warehouse we call Key. Now, we can analyze the data in Key through our data access panel. We can also provide that data to universities, to industry, uh, to other uh, government entities um, in the interest of trying to create a transparent health system so we can recruit as many others as possible to try to help us to meet our own challenges. So as a client, as a data client of the Shafafia system, uh, we've created Wakaya. Now Wakaya, um, I don't have time to go into in too much depth, but actually it's uh, incredibly simple. So what we've done is we've screened the entire population for Framingham cardiovascular risk factors. It was very clear from our cost effectiveness analysis that in a population with this burden of diabetes, which reaches 60, 60% in those over the age of 50, um, it was highly cost effective for us to diagnose those one third to one half of diabetics who didn't know they had the disorder. Um, we then uh, use an evidence-based plan and then take a series of actions which are coordinated using these data systems, which more than just capture data, they're also a platform for us to launch clinical interventions, uh, coordinated at the individual group and at the population level. Um, we recognize that there are broader social determinants for health um, than the healthcare system has control directly over. And uh, we have actually been able to use our data to set KPIs for the regulators of tobacco consumption, the regulators of food, the regulators of urban design, and so on. So that the health system is able to be on the front foot in setting the agenda, the health promoting agenda for other government ministries. So Wakaya is not about trying to beat people up and giving them another thing to worry about. It's trying to market and sell and brand health and well-being as something people should actively want to seek. Um, we have uh, um, uh, communicated the results of Wakaya screening to people with secure paper-based reports, um, a call centre which is modelled after one or two of the interventions in the NHS, and we've also created an online account which is rather like an internet banking account which uses very simple red, amber, green um, uh, signage uh, and, um, and some very carefully worded uh, um, uh, information to provide information to people about how their risk is today, how that's been changing over time and what they can do to improve it. So Wakaya in Abu Dhabi does work. We know that in, in our market everyone can know their numbers, um, not to, um, uh, uh, to, to compliment perhaps the whole system demonstrator. We have N equals 210,000 um, in our um, population. It's 95% of uh, adult Emiratis to begin with, and we're looking at uh, how we can expand that um, into uh, non-Emiratis um, over time. Um, and the interventions we've done to date are a proportion of what we plan to do going forward, which I'll touch upon. But even so, today we've seen a significant increase in engagement with care um, in HbA1c control, which is a measure of control of diabetes and control of dyslipidemia. Um, so what are we doing with the UK for the next stage of development? Well, we are in discussion with um, uh, a number of partners, including uh, BT, uh, Global Health, good to see Justin here today, um, about uh, the hardening and tightening of the e-health systems that we've created. Um, we're rather proud that we've created them ourselves. They're very low cost for us to run. Um, they're very powerful, and because of the node centrality of Shafafia, they are very um, adaptable and scalable um, in terms of functionality. Um, but we need help to do that. And um, I, I'm sometimes a little sad to see how much the media um, has been enjoying laughing over the corpse of Connecting for Health, but in reality, um, the UK has built up a, a great expertise in e-health, um, both in terms of what to do, um, and some great um, infrastructure and functionality, which um, uh, is perhaps not being used as much as it may be, um, but also equally what not to do. Um, we are all human, and uh, it's good to have learned those lessons, uh, but time to move on. Uh, what we're looking to do um, is to build a mobile platform on top of Shafafia uh, and Wakaya, so that individuals are able to um, securely access their data through mobile phones, through point-of-care diagnostics, um, through um, at-home monitoring, um, and to build a social impact bond model, um, which we call Pay for Health, uh, which is allowing the government to pass on to the private sector elements of the risk of the future health burden, with a strong enough incentive for the private sector to really invest to make sure that people's health is improved. Happy to talk about that more. 
Um, so we are now in discussion with um, uh, a couple of po potential pilot sites for elements of Wakaya in the UK. Why the UK? Um, uh, um, we heard this morning, um, uh, Lord Green's, I think, uh, six reasons why we heard yesterday, and the Prime Minister's five reasons why, here are my six reasons. Uh, so the NHS is absolutely a big health system and not simply a market. Um, it, it has uh, many strengths uh, for that reason, wide range of leading edge universities uh, and life science companies, um, really global strength in telecommunications and IT. Um, World-class creative industries, if we're going to sell health, if we're going to want people to want to be better um, uh, and, and healthier, um, we need to think about uh, uh, marketing, about uh, TV programs, about uh, fashion and, and, and so on, and, uh, and Britain certainly has that in spades. Um, now, often the, the bane of, uh, of, of, of governments, of course, is the robust civil discourse, this noisome island, I think, as uh, Kenneth Branagh mentioned at the opening ceremony of the Olympics. It's certainly a very noisy island, but there's something about the, the, the nature of that robust civ civil discourse that uh, uh, engenders trust, I think, in, in other markets. And, and if something can survive as an idea in the UK, perhaps it can survive anywhere. Um, and, of course, the UK really does have unique global collections. Um, we've been talking to Birmingham um, for a number of reasons. Um, we have an existing relationship, um, and it's great to see Dame Julie Moore and team uh, this morning, um, but also with uh, primary care in Birmingham. Um, they have a very practical uh, impact-focused attitude in, in Birmingham, both in secondary care and in primary care. Um, the uh, city of Birmingham and its surrounding area has a high and rising burden of cardiovascular disease, um, and there's a tremendous interest in e-health in that local health economy. So we are talking about elements of um, uh, the Wakaya approach, uh, which can be adapted in the UK. So building on uh, Gillian's pr uh, presentation this morning, uh, for example, the, the plan, the clinical plan, um, is NICE guidelines. Um, so how you treat and how you diagnose uh, cardiovascular risk factors is NICE guidelines. Uh, and many of the actions in the healthcare sector are guided by NICE. Um, but there is uh, much more that can be done, particularly working with um, the non-health sector. Um, the e-health solutions themselves, we've had a lot of discussions about data. Uh, we have a system which has been pressure tested over five years in Abu Dhabi. Um, it cannot be directly lifted to the UK, of course. Um, there are a certain number of adaptations that would need to be made. Um, and there are many others that have expertise in this space too, but we have uh, some interest in helping to fill this very interesting vacuum at the moment about how the NHS collects and uses its data, how we can create systems which can uh, make data securely available and create that transparency. So just one final, final point to touch on. Um, the UK health system has, um, by its very nature, um, uh, um, a, a very uh, noble uh, cause in um, and, uh, helping the, the population of, uh, of the UK and the National Health Service is a, is a great institution which I believe in very strongly. Um, but I think it's really important to remember that uh, the Britain is at its greatest perhaps when it's having a bigger conversation, when it's talking to its friends around the world. And I include a picture here of Her Majesty the Queen who visited Abu Dhabi first in 1979 meeting His Late Highness Sheikh Zayed who's the father of the United Arab Emirates. Um, and she was, of course, back in the UAE uh, in November of 2010 uh, for, for, for a wonderful visit, which uh, created a lot of energy. But, uh, but these conversations, this great historic hall, the country that we're surrounded by, um, is really founded on, on Britain's ability to, to have these conversations with, uh, with our friends around the world. And these friendships are not uh, matters of historical record. They are very real uh, and great opportunities, I think, for the UK. Um, so just in summary, healthcare faces new challenges, of course. Markets around the world are driving important innovations. Find them. Find them because you're a scientist. Find them because you're a clinician and you want to do a better job. Find them because you're a business and you are looking for um, uh, interesting innovations. Find them because they're new markets. Um, but I think also Britain is a very distinctive partner um, for the ongoing development of health innovations um, uh, around the world. Thank you.